What is déjà vu? Déjà vu is technically the sensation that you have lived, experienced something before a recognition that you have a memory sometime in your past that you have lived this moment before. At least 70% of people witness to have had a déjà vu sensation in their lives. According to Dr. Akira O'Connor a researcher specialist in memory déjà vu is a subjective experience of familiarity, alongside an objective experience of unfamiliarity. Neurologically, déjà vu sensation is linked to migraines and also to people who have temporal lobe epilepsy which is the most common form of partial or localization related epilepsy. The people who experience it, witness different emotions feelings and thoughts which might be familiar or completely unknown. Some people claim to remember old memories once again and others feel as if everything is very strange to them. People who have temporal lobe epilepsy and migraine they have an aura sensation which is a warning system that they are going to have a headache or a seizure. When they have them they experience a sensation that they have lived this moment before. There is a neurotransmitter called glutamate which is an amino acid and is found in high concentration in every part of the body. It is the main chemical responsible for over the 90% of synaptic connections in the human brain. Glutamate is responsible for the near-death experiences in which people witness a phenomenon called panoramic life review. If people can see their lives flashing before their eyes, it is being suggested that it is being recorded. People can be hypnotized and go back in their past where they can see it as it was. We can conclude that we have in our brains a recorder. In a real death experience the life does not flash in front of people eyes but it actually is a d-dimensional movie something that Anthony Peake calls the Bahamian IMAX. In this case the déjà vu sensation can be explained as the feeling that you have lived this moment before. So the déjà vu sensation could be explained by taking one section of the near-death experience for example when people say my life flashed before my eyes. We could be living our lives in a matrix-like recreation of our lives. We can say that, when you really die you go back and live your life again in some form internally created model of your life. At the baseline of reality there is zero-point field. This is an energy that can hold information and it's everywhere. While we experience things we are downloading information in that infinite database which contains everything that happened and what will happen. We are in computer game and every action that could be taken is already encoded in that database. So we don't have only this life we have every potential outcome of our lives that we can pursue. What is more is that the work of Stephen Hawking and the John Kramer viewpoint of quantum physics suggest that everything is encoded there. As a result we live our lives in this matrix recreation of our lives and for example if you made a mistake the last time you lived your life. You can change it when you become aware of what happened the last time.